It's a gear tester here, and this is my first range report on the Glock 19 Gen 4. I have yet to fire a single round through this pistol, and I am looking forward to doing that here. Uh, we're going to see if it's it will be a reliable pistol. The Glock Gen 3s were known for being some of the most reliable pistols in the world, as Glock has released these uh, the Gen 4 uh, family of Glocks. There have been some issues, so. I'm looking forward, and hopefully this pistol will be one of those uh, both accurate and reliable Glock Gen 4s. Uh, this coloration is pretty awesome, isn't it? This is the flat, dark earth coloration that uh, are currently coming out uh, in, in the last week or so, and I was very happy to be able to get my hands on one of these uh, Glock 19s in this flat, dark earth. I think that's an awesome coloration. Another cool thing about the Glock uh, Gen 4s that I didn't know until I purchased one was the fact that you get three factory magazines, and I think that's awesome. Uh, the Glock Gen 3s, uh, at least a, a couple years ago, you only got two mags. I'm not sure whether Glock has decided to include three magazines in all their pistols. They still are selling the Glock uh, Gen 3s, um, and you can still purchase those, I believe, brand new. I'm not sure whether they're including the three magazines in the Gen 3s. I know for sure that they are doing that in the Glock Gen 4s. I believe that's across the board, whether you're shooting a 45, a 40, a 9mm, any of the other Glocks that you get these three magazines. I think that's an excellent decision on Glock's part to uh, give you three mags instead of just the standard two that they had been doing. And I hope that that's a trend that we see uh, from other pistol manufacturers. I know that may bump the price of the pistol up 20 or so dollars, but it's a lot nicer to just have the three magazines and having to go around and hunting and trying to find an extra mag or two. So love the three magazines. I'm looking forward to shooting this pistol here. We're going to do some of that now. Hopefully it will be reliable. We won't have a lot of uh, misfires. Well, not misfires, but uh, a lot of maybe ejection problems and some of the other things which the Glock Gen 4s have, have struggled with. Uh, I'm going to do a couple range reports. This is my first range report. And I'm going to try and record on video the first 500 or so rounds fired through this pistol and upload those. If those do well, I'll probably do a tabletop review of this excellent little pistol. Alrighty, we better get to doing some shooting. Glock 19 Gen 4 first shot. Aha! First 15 rounds, no problems. It is ejecting a little bit uh, slowly. Maybe is that the term I want to use, but no stoppages. go. One of those rounds just hit me in the face. It's a little bit annoying. Whew, I'm missing my trace. There we go. Uh, you missed the last eight or so rounds there. They weren't anything spectacular. Just more fantastic missing on my part uh, with this Glock Gen 19. Uh, Glock 19 Gen 4. Uh, doing some more shooting here. We shot uh, 50 rounds so far. You missed the last few of those because I didn't realize the camera was no longer recording. It had run out of uh, time. Got a new card in there. Lots of lots of minutes to record. So we're going to keep shooting here. I moved the uh, target a little bit closer from about 15 yards to about 12. Hopefully my accuracy will improve. Uh, one thing I've noticed with this uh, Glock uh, 19 Gen 4 is that it seems to kind of be uh, ejecting the brass almost slowly if that's the correct term uh, and some of those rounds have come back in my face the last about 15 though didn't seem to do that as much so I'm hoping maybe it's worked that out of the system I know 
that ejecting back and into the shooter's face has been one of the problems uh, that the Glock Gen 4s have struggled with. So let's keep doing some shooting here. See, these rounds are ejecting straight back. The brass. Ejecting straight back at me. So now we're about 65 rounds. Another 15 round magazine is ready to go here. That round went down my shirt, my jacket. That one hit my face. Those rounds are still, I'm not super satisfied with the way they're ejecting, but what else are you going to do? Continue some shooting here. Another fantastic miss. There we go. Man. Brass is going down my shirt, hitting me in the face. Just knocked my gong down. We'll continue in just a second here. I'll get that back up. Well, <laughs> gong fell down. The wire came off. I must have hit it. Or the steel plate that I'm shooting. So it's back up. Put a little spray paint on it so I can see where I'm hitting. And we're going to continue doing some shooting here. Uh, I think when I'm done with this magazine, I will have fired 100 rounds. That kind of ejecting back into the shooter's face is still happening. Don't know, maybe Glock can uh, give me a new uh, recoil spring or something that will fix that. Ah, I just can't seem to hit anything. Well, you know I'm capable of missing by the time. There we go. There we go. to know where to hold. So right there we're at 100 rounds. Haven't had a malfunction. It's ejecting in a way that's kind of annoying, but uh, no malfunction on the part of the Glock. It's running very reliably. Continued shooting of the Glock 19 Gen 4. Fired 100 rounds so far. The brass is ejecting kind of back uh, towards me, but I've had no malfunctions and no stoppages in the Glock uh, 19 Gen 4 that I've been shooting. I'm going to do some continued shooting here. At the end of this, uh, this set of shooting, we'll be at about 150 rounds. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm happy with the gun, except for the way the brass is ejecting. Ah, right on, finally. Woo, hot brass. Down goes the gong. I'm going to have to run out there and put that back up. Got the steel plate back up. Doing some continued shooting. Ah. Got the chamber around. Now, watch me miss with this entire mag. Oh, that 
that's working. Okay, last 15 round magazine, 150 rounds through the Glock Gen, uh, Gen Glock 19 Gen 4. First range review by the gear tester. Last shot, good to go. I'm gonna say I like the Glock 19 Gen 4. Uh, I got my hands out a little bit more, got my arms a little bit stiffer there, did not have the brass ejecting uh, so much into my face. They're at the last 150 rounds in to the Glock 19 Gen 4 and have had no stoppages, no failures to fire. The gun has fired everything I put in it. I'm just firing regular 115 grain bulk 9mm ammo, which I bought. I am very impressed with the Glock 19 Gen 4. Can expect a couple more ta uh, a couple more range reports and then maybe a tabletop review. Thanks for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.